Chicago is very lucky today to have DJ Danger Zone in town. He will be playing at El Jefe this afternoon, and we are very excited to find out a little bit more information about all of his style. So for those who don't really know you, what exactly is your DJ style? Um, I like to play everything. I like to play a lot of hip-hop, top 40, house, trap, trap house. Like I try and put it all into one package. Great. And I know there's so many DJs out there these days. What really sets you apart? You've obviously risen to such a great level and are very popular now. What really sets you apart from the others? Well, I, I try not to compare myself to other DJs. I just figure out what works for me and how I can uh, work with the crowd. And then, you know, touring with El Mafeo, you must have some crazy stories. Any huge production show or anything you'd like to remember from them? Um, I always think about how crazy the the cities were when we got, when we last year we did the Sorry for Party Rocking tour, and um, the the cities like Chicago is actually one of the top five cities for crowd uh, response. Um, so that's one thing that always comes to mind. There's never a dull moment. I mean, you're with the same people all the time, but you know, there's never a dull moment because they're all about having fun. I know you're also a fan of Kanye West, and why so? Kanye is, um, is is just an incredibly creative individual. He sees uh, he, he defines art. He's he's original, and um, he he likes to push the limit and test things out. And he's like the first one usually to to try something new, and then everyone else kind of follows. So you know, you, someone that 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 you know, challenges himself in that way. I, I appreciate it. And everything he does is just super creative. And you do seem to be more than just like a DJ, even like your style right now, obviously wonderful style. How are you trying to like build up your brand? Um, I just try and, I just try and be different with the, with the way I dress and e even in some cases one step ahead. You know, I'll, I'll wear Party Rock La Freak stuff and then I'll wear Street Ninja stuff. Then I'll wear a blazer, um, a blazer with um, drop crotch pants. What are some big future plans that you have in store? Just continuing uh, touring around America, um, knocking out clubs. Um, of course, wherever Red Food goes, I, I go. So he's got some shows in Europe, um, Australia, Eastern Europe, Western Europe. Um, and uh, I also have a project with uh, Grammy winners playing skills. They, uh, we're putting out a trap house mixtape, so it's trap house beats with rappers rapping over rappers such as uh, Bumby, Paul Wall, Red Fu, Crazy Bone, Lil John. I mean, YG. So I'm, I'm excited about that because that's gonna be something no no one has done yet. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna it's gonna cross the it's gonna be a, on a mainstream level and on and on an underground level. Yeah, and then I know trap too. It's kind of not as popular as some of the more mainstream stuff. Um, how are you helping to contribute to it and make it more well, popular? That's a good question because playing skills are 100% handling the beats. Mm -hmm. And so my place in this is I'm mixing the mixtape. I'm bringing everything together. I'm bringing, I, I also had some ideas within the tracks themselves. Um, but I'm, I'm bringing the, the, the mixtape together and blending and figuring out what tracks work with each other. So it feels like a mix. You know, it's not just one track after the next you know I want to bring a DJ element into it. I'm gonna scratch um, things are gonna sound like they belong with each other or tracks are gonna sound like they belong with each other so I'm definitely bringing the DJ aspect to the mixtape if you would like to learn more about DJ Danger Zone check out his website at www.djdangerzone.com you can also follow him on Twitter and on his Facebook and I'm Danielle Sluka with Chicago 3 Media